Hello YouTubers, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about the vulnerability scanning tool Acunitix. This is automated security testing tool using to do web vulnerability scanning. In my previous video, I have talked about using Qualys Community Edition using the Nessers, also using the OpenWAS to do the vulnerability scan. But Acunitix is a little bit different. They are more focused on the web application security. If you want to download it, you may want to schedule a demo with the Acunitix stuff and then get to your demo first and then you can ask for a trial version to test it. You also have an option to subscribe to the web application and then use it online. This is a SaaS service. Assuming you already got the software installation package. So this is the one I have. Acunitix 13.0 version. And what you need to do, run as administrator. Easily go to next. Accept the agreement. You can put any emails which you're going to use in to log into web application. You can put any ones. I will put a 51 sec. Different sec password. I'll put admin at different sec org password. Next, the port you can define, but I would like to use in default port three four four three. You also want to use a remote access to Acunitix. So here is the server name, or you can use an IP. Then you may want to create a desktop shortcut. Install. Installation is very straightforward for this software. Um, you just need to follow the guide. Next, next, next and then eventually you're going to finish it, the installation in probably two minutes. It's going to generate a certificate to use, so you can easily say yes to install this certificate. Initializing database is going to take a while, um, I'm going to pause the video for that, and uh, once it's done, I will continue. Okay, it's completed in two or three minutes. Finish. Now we can see this icon, Acunitix shortcut, and then it will automatically open your default browser. If you are using IE as your default browser, then you may get this warning message say it's not supported. We already have Chrome installed, so you can easily copy the UI out here to launch it. So now it's logging. Um, we put the admin at 51sec.org and the password. Give me signed in. Here is tricky part. You need a license for that. So if you don't have a license, you may need to get in touch with Acunitix account manager to get one. Um, for me, I'm having my license here. It can be easily to be copied over to C driver. Program at Kunitix shared folder. There's a license folder and default license. You can just copy your license here to override that one.
Yeah, good to go. You can see the version. You can check for update. And then you will find the dashboard. There's no target defined. So first thing we're going to do, of course, add a new target. So address, I have a blog, my blog here, so which I like to see. Save. Um, of course, I want to scan it. So yeah, you can provide in some authentication, client certificate, uh, lost information, but for me, easy just to scan at the first as our first vulnerability scanning on our web application. You can do full scan or you can do high risk vulnerability scan, cross site scripting scan, SQL injection, weak password, crawl only, malware scan. We do full scan and you can get a report on that. Um, I would like to have a quick report scheduled instantly, create scan. Well, the scan is ongoing. I want to show you one thing is uh, after you install Acunitix, there's two services going to be installed. One is Acunitix, one is Acunitix database. You may need to sometimes, if you're having problem, then you have you may need to stop your Acunitix and stop the database services and then start it again. So in that case, they may help you to fix your issue. You can start it. And then you can go back to your Google Chrome and launch your Acunitix web interface here. This is the version from about. I'm going to stop here and then again come back once the scanning has been completed. After a while, so the scanning has completed, so we can see the dashboard now for the vulnerabilities. We do see two high severity vulnerabilities and 37 medium severity vulnerabilities, also 40 low severity vulnerabilities. That's very interesting to me because I even don't know I have those two high severity vulnerabilities on my website, on my blog. I thought I would like to take a look. So there's a cross-site scripting. Both are cross-site scripting. It's existing on 2015 and the search. So we can take a look at. So once you click it on the right hand, you will see the explanation for this vulnerability and the attack detail. There's some script on mouse over this um, LRUV9199 bad echo. This input is reflected inside a tag parameter between single quotes. The impact of this vulnerability and how to fix it. On the similar scenes on this page, HTTPS, Blocked the fifty one sector org slash search. They also have some others. There's a contact form here, shows some vulnerabilities. CSRF. So most of them are CSRF, CSRF and the insecure cross-domain.xml file. And then some others. So very interesting. Um, I, I like to see those reports. Um, so scans we already done. The status shows failed. Before we can do really scan, you have one thing you have to keep that in mind, which is your web application firewall. As I can show you, my 51sec.org is protected by Cloudflare web application firewall here. You can tell today I did a lot of scanning and all 
my IP, external IP scan has been blocked. There's a lot, lots of blocking happening right now. I'm scanning www.51sec and scanning lots of other websites and all being blocked by my web application firewall. My previous scan blocked of 51sec.org is completely blocked by this web application firewall. What you can do is you can enable a firewall rule and do allow. So as I, as you can see, the number is now is 293 hits here for this rule. What I configured is any IP address coming from my IP, my scanner IP will be allowed. And then you can save these changes and then you will take into affection right away. And then you can see the numbers is increasing because I'm doing the scanning. I want to mention this before you can continue next step. Our report has been generated as a two format PDF and HTML. So we can click it and download it and take a look. It's a nice report, you will like it. Uh, to show you all vulnerabilities. This will be easy for you to search and give it to the developer to find out what they need to do, what the uh, vulnerability it is. So, and also you can delete the report after you finish reading. Um, on the left hand, those letter console menu, you can add users. You can define scan types, network scanner. We didn't configure that. And then we also have issues trackers. And then you can email the settings, the report or notifications result out, but you need to enable it. That's basic uh, SMTP settings. And then we have engines here, main installation authorized the online installation. Um, you also can exclude the hours you don't want to scan. You only want to scan from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or accept the working hours. Or if you have proxy between your scanner and your website, you may want to enable proxy settings. It's very simple. It's an open box and you can use it right away. Um, and very powerful to find out the web application vulnerabilities. This is just basics. Uh, settings for you to start to use Acunetics. You can do more, you can configure it to log in and you can run some script, but you will need some time to explore this great software.